To create a multi-language website in EverWeb, the best way to do it is to break up each language into its own website project. In order for this to be possible, you will need to set up a subdirectory on your web server for each of the languages besides the language that will be on the main website. For example, if the English website is the main site, then all other languages would need to have a subdirectory set up for them. For those using an EverWeb hosting plan, I will show you how to do this when publishing to EverWeb, and for everybody else, I will show you how to do this when publishing to FTP. So here I have my English site, which is my main site. Take note of my website name, which is located in the top right corner of the application. My English site is done, so I'm going to begin working on my next language site. What I will do now is use this English site as my template, so when I work on my other languages, it will be really easy for me. First, I will open up the projects window and locate my English website project file. I will click on the arrows next to the project name and then select show on disk. The finder window will appear and my project will be highlighted. I am going to do a secondary click on the project and then copy the project. Next, I am going to select the templates folder and again do a secondary click and paste the project that I just copied. Next, I am going to close the finder window and then click on the create a new website button on the projects window. When the templates window appears, I am going to locate my English website and select one of the pages. I will now complete the rest of my site. So now that the rest of my site is complete, you can see by the name in the top left corner that this site is for the French version of my website. Before I publish my site, there is one other thing I want to do. I am going to add a link from the French version of my site to the English version of my site. You can do this however you'd like. I am placing a text link at the top of the page on each page of the website. When that is done, I am ready to publish my site. Since I am publishing to an EverWeb hosting account, it is very, very important that I add a value to the subdirectory field, otherwise my main site, which is my English site, is going to be overwritten. So since this is my French site, I am going to type in fr to indicate French. This is just an example. You can type in anything you want. Now I'm going to publish the site. This subdirectory is actually being created for me by EverWeb. Remember, if you are not using an EverWeb hosting account and you are publishing to FTP, you will also have a subdirectory field that you can input a value into. So now my site is published and you can see that I can view it online at everwebtutorials.com slash fr. You would repeat this process for all the languages you want to have your site in. Make sure that you link all of the sites to each other. For instance, I would now open up my English site and link it to the French site that I just created. I can do this by placing a text link in the top right corner and then linking it by clicking on the hyperlinks tab, enabling as hyperlink, and selecting an external page to link to. I will then type in the URL for the French version of my site. When everything is published, I can toggle easily between the two versions of my website by clicking on the links in the top right corner. Remember, you can set this up however you'd like, but the most important part is to set up each language as its own website project and publish the sites to separate directories located on your web server.